Good day, everyone. Feeling very wore out. But I'm happy I got the new little greenhouse up. 10 by 26. Started working on it last week. Still not done. But... Part of it was I had to clear up the old fence row there because it was right up against where the greenhouse is now. Didn't put a lot of work into leveling, but I did some and got it where I think I can put plants in it tomorrow. I'm still not done on the end down there, which... Some way or another, I got confused, and I thought it had a door on that end, but you can see it doesn't. It does have windows on the sides. I hadn't tried to open them or do any of that. I was just just working and getting it to where Friday we're supposed to be back down in the 30s, and so if I get some plants in it, I've got to check the two old electric heaters down there. They're around 20 years old and I ain't used them in so long they have timers on them and I forgot how to set the damn things but I ain't worrying about it anyway I'll get them to where they'll run maybe and I've got the gas that I will have on at the same time to make sure that everything is working and kept warm all the work I have put into the plants I'm not about to put them in here and let them freeze the pot sitting around or the turmeric and that just helps hold it down a little bit. I have the nylon straps, the black straps there and there are around the base tubing and those are just stapled to the lumber and I will put a nail in them before I'm through. And these over here I put one pulled to the outside and one to the inside and looped them around and put the uh, landscape staples into them. And they're sun around each pole. And I think that'll secure it. They had uh, came with it some little old cord here and these things that are they called an anchor but in this sandy soil that I have those wouldn't anchored very much and they were talking about winds 24 26 miles an hour or something like that we had a gust the other night at 50 something miles an hour so Anyway, I was trying to do a little more. And main thing is with the turmeric sitting around the edge here, if the wind doesn't ever get up under it, it ought to pretty much be right here. And so, dug out some of the old field dirt from over here. Like I said, I'm trying to get it leveled up a little. And then... Over here, it's still, like I said, it was low, and I've just got it tacked down and got it where the air shouldn't get in and the heat shouldn't get out once I get it done. And like I said, during after I get a little further along and get some more done and all that, I'm gonna I'll frame up and build me a door here so the air can go all the way through, and I can put some fans in so I can work in it on the in the summertime. But overall, 26 by 10 off of Amazon for $219. And I'm very happy. And I think it turned out and looks pretty nice. Part of it will be to see, though, how the material does hold up the uh you know if it's only good for a year then that's kind of a shitty deal but if it's good for numbers of years then 
it's a lot better. And uh, I had to see what replacement cloths cost and such things. To, but for right now, because I have soil and pots and plants that need repotting, and that's stacks of grow bags and more pots. That's some more gallon pots there and still more gallon pots down here. And I still have another hundred uh, of the gallons in the shed that I got to get out here. And I got to get things potted up. And as you can see, I've just kind of run out of room in here. So that was the whole purpose of getting it done. And I've got more turmeric that I got to get potted up. And then I'll set it all around the greenhouse to help make sure that the air doesn't get under the fabric. And about a week and a half of work. And I have had to take time off to mail out a few boxes and do some banking and just regular life. And the fact that my old body just doesn't hold up real well anymore. But I wanted to share that. I'm very pleased with it. And I told some people that wanted to know about the little greenhouse that I would tell them. And like I said, at that time, whenever I was talking, I did think it had doors on both ends, but not so. But I think right now, like I said, I don't know how it's going to hold up over the time, long run, but for right now, I'm very happy with it. Looks like it is well-constructed material, and it's not that difficult to put together. It didn't take me as part of my problem in getting it together was uh, just doing it my, myself and working up over my head really hurts my back and my shoulders and will give me a headache from pinched nerves in my neck and that is one hell of a lot of damn screws <laughs> or it seems so to me I don't know I, it was around 200 all total but anyway everyone have a blessed day